Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1826 penny from the reign of King George IV, the coin we can see on screen now. I will first go through the design of this coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here we have the reverse design, featuring a portrait of Lady Britannia. She wears her draped clothing and a helmet on her head. By her side rests the shield bearing the Union flag, and held up to the sky in her other arm is the trident. Below her are three national flowers for the countries of the UK, to the centre there the Rose of England, the Thistle for Scotland, and the Shamrock for Ireland. We then have around the border we can see there in Latin, wording in abbreviated Latin which reads Britannia Rex Fid Death, or in English meaning King of Britain, Defender of the Faith. Of course titles held by King George IV, who features on the obverse of the coin. And here he is. So we can see this is a laureate bust of the king, with him facing to the left, and like I say, a ribbon tying the laureate round his head. Now we can see below him, there is the date of the coin, 1826, so of course the year of production, and then round him is another legend, again in abbreviated Latin. This reads, Georgius IV de Gratia, or in English meaning, George IV, by the grace of God. As you know, alluding to the fact that he was chosen to be king by God, or so they believed 200 years ago. Now we can see on the rim of the coin, small teeth, milling or beading, this is there for prevention for clipping of the coin, so no one can steal any metal content of the coin from the sides. Moving now on to the facts and figures of the 1826 penny. This is a coin produced or minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 to 1975. The coin is composed of 100% pure copper, as it was in 1860 that pennies became alloys of copper, with still a majority of copper then, but in this time they were still 100% copper. The weight of the full copper penny is 18.9 grams, so very heavy compared to later pennies, with a diameter of 34 millimeters, so larger than the half crown was the big copper penny. The mintage for this year of penny was 5,913,600, so fairly common, closing in on 6 million, not too much of a rarity. The penny coin is of course worth 1 pence, this is 1 twelfth of a shilling, or 1 240th of a pound sterling. So quite a large, or sorry, quite a small denomination for a large coin. In 1826, when the coin was made, one penny was equal to 49 pence today. So almost an exact comparison as having a penny coin back then, or a 50 pence piece today. And the coin was demonetized in 1869, in the changeover to the new bronze pennies released in 1860. Now then, moving on to the value of the coin today, it'll sell for around £10 in poor condition, around £25 in fine condition, then up to £300 in extremely fine, and £725 in uncirculated grade. Copper coins are very hard to find in high grades, and for that reason, the premium on the high grade examples is even more disproportionate to the lower grades, as collectors really, really want to get these rare examples of the high grade ones, but in low grade, a fairly affordable coin. So there we go. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again for some more coins soon on Bits and Bobs.